What's up guys, this is John Spear Warhammer. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today I wanted to kind of show you guys what you're expected to have meter and testing wise. So these are kind of the uh, industry standards for the type of like testing equipment that you're gonna need to have when you're on the field. Um, there's a couple different brands. My personal favorite, if you can't tell, is a uh, Fluke. Um, I trust them with my my life, my career, you know, and they've been good to me. So I continue to buy their products. So the first thing that we're gonna go over today is definitely the Volt Alert. So this is just gonna be your prox proximity sensor. Or tester so as you can see it has a little beep um, we just go to like this little light here you know or I guess this probably be better you know it test that there is voltage being ran through this thing you know this thing is just really good for testing you know, just kind of double checking stuff. Um, you know, they're not always the best, you know, but it's always good to double check. Um, I believe that every apprentice should have this, um, you know, just to test, double check everything. But of course, you know, it, it'll always be better to have a meter, but if you don't have that readily available, um, this is the closest thing that you can get to it. And it's handy if it's in your pocket. Um, in this case, if it's in my bag, pretty well, easy, no problem. Um, the next thing is like, so, you know, this is gonna be your everyday carry. So this is the one you use on a daily basis, um, carries around, does pretty much you know everything you need to do they make a different model called the t6 600 that tests up to 600 volts this one tests up to a thousand volts so you know that's a little bit higher grade whatever has the backlit model it gives you the notification that there is you know power in the area you can hold your reading um, this little guy right here will tell you volts and amps if you have it in the field sense mode. There's a ground thing that you're supposed to do this. I have another video, it doesn't really, I mean it works, it does, but it's not um, the best read. So, but if you ground it out with your black contact, um, it seems to work a lot better in that sense. But it also ohms everything out, you know, and it has the sound function. Um, absolutely great product but this is your everyday carry this is the one you're going to use keep in your bag um you know it's light enough to keep in your bag so i would suggest getting this one the t6 600 or the t6 1000 depending on you know where you're at and then you know everyone needs a gfci tester you know, they make the ones where it's just the tester with, you know, just to tell you if it's right or wrong. Um, ideal makes some, but you really need a GFCI tester. You know, this little bad boy, you know, you have to fill it up with batteries or whatever, but as soon as you test the GFCI, um, it will give you the the trip rating on it, which is really nice. It tells you that it's reading 120 amps, or if it's not reading that at all, you know, but it's a, this particular one by Klein, the RT250 is fantastic. Um, I personally love the hell out of this thing as far as the GFCI tester is concerned. Have no issues with it. Once again, fits in your bag pretty well. The only thing is this scratch, I don't know if you can see those little scratches, but they scratch 
really, really easily. Um, so if you can put it safely in your bag somehow, I like to keep mine in this little mesh area right here. It seems to work out okay. Okay, last but not least, um, the big dog. I have a thing. I got this thing with the little magnet clip. Um, it's going to be your amp clamp. This is for, I suggest if you're a journeyman electrician, you should get this model. It's the uh, 374FC. Um, you know, it has the hold button, you know, the big clamp for big wire. Um, haven't had any issues putting 600s in there, no problem. Um, you know, you got your classic voltage, voltage DC, um, ohm, uh, regular amps, DC amps, and then you, it gives you the option to have that little, um, super amp clamp, and you know you can just stick that sucker in there but once again these are fantastic products um you know so those are kind of the <coughs> the things that you should expect to get so just to go over it really quickly you know this is carry all the time carry all the time Carry all the time, carry when you need it. You know, so those should always be in your bag. This one, depending on if you're testing, whatever, but those two definitely in your bag at all times. Those two when you need them. Um, this is John Spear. I hope that you guys had a great day and, um, you know, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everything. Um, please like, subscribe, and share this information. Um, you know, until the next video. Hope you guys have a great day.